What's up deputies, Officer First 30 Minutes here. Today we have a special patrol. We are gonna be in a police helicopter. We are gonna be the eye in the sky during pursuits. We're gonna keep an eye on the fleeing vehicle, making sure to update units on the ground uh, where the vehicle is headed, and just provide uh, overall air support. So it's game time, it's about uh, 6 p.m. We're gonna go ahead and get in our helicopter Right now we're on top of the Rancho Police Station. There is a little helipad and we will go ahead, get in the sky and wait for some call outs. Citizens report of possible 148 in Strawberry. All right, copy that. We got a stolen money truck in the Davis area. We're gonna join this pursuit, call in some backup. Yeah, I see him, he's, he's going. That it uh looks like westbound on Carson. Now he just flipped around. As you can see, money truck is right below me. Once we join this pursuit, we can uh, call in some backup units here. Backup needed in Chamberlain Hills. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this money truck. We're headed westbound on Form Drive. We have units uh, should be responding. Uh, this guy's on. All right, uh, dispatch subjects out on foot. We are headed northbound on Carson Avenue now, or eastbound on Innocence Boulevard. It's running on foot. As you can see, uh, police below are in a foot pursuit here. Can't take any like tactical action. Um, sometimes police helicopters will even have a uh, gunman riding shotgun, but. In this case, we're just providing air support, making sure we don't lose track of suspects. So it looks like he's given up now. We're here on uh, Innocence Boulevard in Strawberry. We just circle around until he is arrested. And I believe there's one other person. Okay, that guy's good. Let's head out to, towards this other guy who's fleeing. He might be on foot, yeah. So uh, dispatch, we have a second suspect who's on foot. Go ahead and call in some more backup units. Backup required in Chamberlain Hill. He's uh, headed southbound on Alta Street. Yeah, it's really hard to, to dodge the eye of a uh, helicopter. Helicopters are fast. They can, they have a lot of visibility. They can, you know, it's really hard to hide unless you're under some obstruction like a bridge or something like that. Now locally in South Carolina, I don't see police helicopters utilized too often, but I know in Los Angeles, it's um, it's a much more common thing. So we're here, still uh, southbound on Alta Street. Guys running. Um, yeah, we got units behind and a foot pursuit here to catch up with him. He's, he's not gonna lose me no matter what he tries. I just gotta watch my surroundings here and make sure I don't crash myself. So now he's at the intersection of uh, Davis Avenue and Alta Street. Looks like he might be giving up here. He's still running, he's still running. He's going behind this billboard. He's on a little dirt path, um, headed toward Davis Avenue now. As you can see, he's got about uh, 70 cops in pursuit of him. Looks like he was tased. Yeah, I think that's gonna end it for him. It's kind of nice not being on the ground, not having to deal with the uh, the cleanup from any of the pursuits. All right, he's getting cuffed now. And awesome. So we were able to provide assistance, uh, locate the money truck, keep an eye on it, and we were able to actually grab both the money truck and the accomplice. I've never been able to do that, but the use of a helicopter we were. So uh, we're code four off of that call and we will continue our patrol. Citizens report of possible 148 in Elysian Island. All right, copy that. We've got, um, reports here of a stolen tanker truck so we're gonna go ahead and respond to that call all the way on Elysian Island another thing I like with the helicopter 
I can literally get from one part of the city to the whole opposite side of the city in just a matter of seconds or even minutes. Something not possible in a police unit. All right, tanker is below me. We spot the tanker here. We're on near place of uh, Place Street. Tinkers had it eastbound. Let's go ahead and call in some ground units here. In, uh, it's gonna be more difficult. Island. Tinkers bigger. Copy you can that. see these We're ground right units now. are actually trying to ram the We're truck. Right I don't think that's gonna be too effective. And they're they're gonna have to utilize some creative methods to get this guy stopped. Um, like he's stopped behind a truck currently. We're headed eastbound, still on place. Tanker looks like he might be stuck. Attention all units, backup required in Elysian Yeah, he's getting stuck in traffic actually. So let's see if um, police utilize this, utilize this to pull him out of the truck there. Got state patrol units on scene as well. All right, he's continuing to, to drive here. Slow rate of speed. This uh, <laughs> got one unit trying to take him out from the side, losing visibility here because of this bridge. Oh yeah, we got one unit in front and one unit in back trying to take this guy out. Then a row of police units behind him. Interesting strategy here. So uh, pursuits are about speeds of about 10 miles per hour. It's pretty slow at the moment. He is struck behind this uh, box truck in front of him, and this other police unit is trying to slow him down. Oh, he, Tanger just rammed the police unit. Still had it eastbound. Slow rate of speed. I don't know how close police helicopters actually get to what they're following in terms of altitude. Oh, he, it looks like he just 10 50 into um, a fence. He's backing up here. See if they'll get him out of here. Yeah, it might be a little too low. He's he's trying to go around. Um, let's see if somebody can pull him out of the truck there. Perfect opportunity. Okay, we got a highway patrolman. Looks like he's pulling the guy out of the truck, and it's like yes, good work, guys. Finally. Had about, what, eight or nine units here responding to this pursuit. Could have got ugly. I don't think anyone was actually hurt, which is really awesome. And, yep, he is complying. So, uh, we're going to be code four off of that one as LSPDFR crashes on me. Apparently, Wilderness Callouts has this cool little helicopter menu. I never actually have utilized this or even knew it was part of the call-out pack but look at this thing this is awesome at what you have a pivoting camera here I think you can still control altitude but uh, you can't really control direction but it even says uh, LSPD in the top right that is really cool I don't know if there's a zoom in or out but and I'm not seeing one so that's really cool it's helpful uh, you know when you're following these pursuits you can Move with this camera to keep an eye on uh, your target. So really cool stuff. Uh, try to utilize this in our next pursuit. Attention unit one, Lincoln 18. We have a person carrying a knife in the Maze Bank arena. Copy that. We got a person carrying a knife uh, right below us. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. See if we can get a visual on the suspect and call him back up. We have a stabbing on Somebody's stabbing Contact somebody. I see some movement down here. Oh, I gotta watch it. I'm really close to the Assistance bank. Needed in the maze bank arena. Oh yeah, we got one we got one down here. Calling in some backup units. Copy that, dispatch. One suspect with a knife has just uh, stabbed somebody else. Sub suspect is female. Looks like a white female, maybe late to early 
late 20s to early 30s. When I'm back up to get here. Gotta pull up. I'm getting really close to this uh, stadium. It's making me uncomfortable. I'm not the best helicopter pilot, I will admit. Never have been. But uh, let's get some altitude and maybe use our camera here to zoom in. I see units responding. I think she's moving at all. Okay, um, where is she? Got a lost visual on her. I think I lost a visual on her. Sounds like units in the area aren't finding her either. I'm trying to go in low here to check it out. I might actually have to do a landing. Okay, there she is. She's still there. Yeah. Units are not uh, going to the correct location. Let's, so we're gonna do emergency landing. This is probably pretty uh, atypical for a pilot, but I need to first initiate a chase. LSPDFR isn't registering it. So let's go in with our weapon here. All right, we got a uh, visual on the suspect here moving in. Looks like she's just standing over the body. Gonna move in slowly at gunpoint here for my safety. She's not moving. She's still over the uh, the victim. All right, ma'am, this is the LSPD freeze. All right, she's running. She is running. We're gonna need EMS on site too. She just tripped herself. Drop your weapon, ma'am. Drop your weapon, drop it. One shot. Suspect is dead. Dispatch, I repeat, suspect is dead. Came at me with the knife. Took a shot to disable her, ended up uh, being a killing blow. So we're gonna have to get EMS on scene. Attention Got two dead units. bodies we here. Have an ambulance call in the Maze Bank Stadium. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Yeah, I, I don't think a helicopter pilot has ever landed and take taken the uh, call out on his own <laughs> with his own weapon. So that'd be a pretty uh, awesome pilot. I hear uh, EMS. So EMS is going to get here. Pretty sure both of these people are dead. Yeah. All right. EMS will get here and we'll clean up the bodies. Any unit in the Port of Los Santos area. Units reporting and banning. Copy that. We got a stolen vehicle spotted. Let's see if we can get a visual on this guy. Stolen vehicle is a felon. I think it's right below me. Yep, we've spotted stolen vehicle. Got a visual on it. Get some ground Attention units in. And the Maze Bank Arena. Units respond code three. Headed uh, westbound. Copy that. On the west. Davis Avenue. All right, the felon is taking off at a high rate of speed. He's about 70 miles per hour here. It's like he might be stuck in traffic. Let's see if we can use that camera. Yep. Uh, oh, look at that. We even got a speed radar thing. I think it's about 30 miles per hour. Looks like he's getting caught between two units here. That is so cool. Slowing down to about 17 miles an hour. Oh yeah, they're trying to ram suspect. Still had it uh, northbound. Just went under Interstate 5 here. Trying to get a speed reading on them. So we're... Uh, Northbound on SR-22. 
Oh, looks like they might be coming to a stop here. Looks like, oh, he's backing up. Continuing to drive. Thought we had him. About five units trailing him. This is awesome. Okay, he's had it uh, northbound still on Kalis Avenue. High rate of speed here. I would estimate, you know, 50 to 60 here through residential areas. Speed is about 40 now. Stuck behind, looks like a delivery truck. So we're definitely keeping an eye on him. He's not gonna get away. It looks like he might be stuck up. Oh. He's driving around that delivery truck now. Let's continue to follow him. He's uh, going through an intersection now. He's taking a left on, what street are we on? We are on San Andreas Avenue. Okay. Oh, vehicle just 10 50 Got to watch all these buildings out here. Oh, he's still going. The vehicle has heavy damage. Just um, hit an object at high rate of speed. Lost visibility here due to these buildings. He is... Okay, it looks like he might have crashed again. This guy's not giving up here. This guy is not giving up. How much damage can his vehicle handle? Speed's about 50 miles per hour. Oh, he's caught. He's caught. Going around that car, he is not giving up. This is crazy. All right, still got him. Now we're northbound on Del Perro Boulevard. Speeds about 60 miles per hour. Got some more units responding. Wow, he, I don't know what he's done. I know the vehicle was stolen. But he is not willing to give up. He's taking that felon. He, he's maxing it out to its capabilities here. So now we're on Bay City Avenue, headed eastbound. High rate of speeds again. He's going to crash and hurt somebody. Uh, ground units really need to take care of this guy now. Traffic is light, fortunately. I'm not seeing a lot of people on the road. Going about 40 now. He's getting slow behind some traffic here. He's just flying. How much damage can this vehicle handle and still operate? Anytime I watch a uh, police pursuit, I'm always surprised how much damage these cars can handle and still continue to drive. That might be it right there. Vehicle was stopped. We're at Tug Street and Bay City Avenue, the intersection. He's on foot now. Subject is fleeing on foot. We got a foot pursuit now. Well, it looks like he's giving up here. He ain't going nowhere. Good job, but dang, that pursuit took it forever. Awesome, look at all these cars. All right, well, that's taken care of. Thank you guys so much for watching my helicopter patrol. I hope you did enjoy it. As always, leave me suggestions or comments down in the comments section below. And I will see you guys on the next patrol.